what's going on guys not sure where I left off last video but I've gotten quite a bit done I cleaned up around here a little bit this is still here this I'm trying to find someone that can easily take care of it it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be anyways on this all I have to do is downpipe, top mount intercooler, then I can theoretically start the car. Gotta throw the ECU in, obviously. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I need to actually start the car. Unless I have other issues that I haven't come across, but I made sure everything was grounded. I did the, the chassis grounds, all that fun stuff. I also got the the dash all set up, made brackets with brackets, pulled everything in place. And I have the power windows all set up. I did put speakers back in. So the, the doors are all wired up. All the power windows work. Uh, I don't know. My list. I, I haven't done anything recently. So I haven't had anything to mark off for that stuff. I've been doing a lot of little stuff here and there. But tonight I am going to uh, finish modifying the steering column. So it's actually centered. It's about two inches off right now, too far that way. I'm going to also try to start the car. So I guess I should actually get to it. I need to just show you the power window situation. Maybe even try out the headlights. Key. Key's in. Oh, okay, so that works. Let's see if the headlights turn on. Got the exhaust in place. Got the top mount in place. Got a few more ground buttoned up. I got the gauge cluster in place. Yes, I turn key, see if the gauges illuminate. And I check the oil, put it in a little bit more because it's a Subaru. Um, I guess I'll turn key in a second. So let's see if the fuel pump kicks on. I hear fuel pump. Probably check for leaks. I don't see any leaks? Let's check up front. I hear the throttle body. I don't see any leaks. I think I forgot anything. So, turn key now. So that's it. She runs. That was my main objective for today. I already went over everything. 
You know what I did? I recorded it. It happened. It runs. Uh, next thing I need to do, I need to button up the exhaust. I just kind of got it rigged in there. I have to double check all my vacuum lines. I got to make sure my air oil separator is plumbed in correctly. Well, tightened up. A few more things. Need to like wire in my boost gauge. I need to do the dash. I need to button up that stuff. I need to put clamps on all the coolant hoses. Right now, I'm just going to run the RS radiator until I figure out a different solution. I need to cut down the fan shroud so that fits correctly. I need to burp the system after I have all the clamps on. Um, what else? There's so many things. It literally is. Um, I can button up the fenders. I just had them kind of on. Took that one off so I could get to the the wire in for the door. But yeah, um, maybe later this week I'll button up all that stuff. Start taking with the dash. Uh, something's up with my my rear brakes. I think they're fully engaged. I have to double check with my hydro setup and also the assembly that gives proportioning valve front and rear. Uh, it just feels like it's locked up in the rear. Um, another huge thing I need to do, I need to either, either make or buy the um, drive-by wire uh, gas pedal conversion plate. thinking I'm just going to try to make one save myself 90 bucks if that doesn't work out I'll buy it for 90 bucks but yeah fucking started that's awesome super excited for that uh, get home at a decent time as you can see it's uh, it's dark so that's fuck anyways get home eat dinner edit this upload it and thanks for watching check back next time hope there's more shit it actually started that's huge yeah Later.